after a couple months of not diving, we're back, we're on a boat, with no other than Sea Dragon Charters. Howe Sound is a scuba diving haven around 20 minutes away from Vancouver, BC. It stands out not just for its underwater wonders, but also for its commitment to conservation. The protected waters of Howe Sound harbor a thriving marine ecosystem, so it has a bunch of cool stuff to see. We also love Howe Sound because boat dives are almost always better than shore dives. After setting up all of our gear, my next step is to always place my camera rig in the dedicated camera bin. Most dive boats will have a camera bin specific for cameras. This is to make sure that the cameras are in a safe and designated area to avoid hazards to the camera and to the other divers. I usually set up my rig the night before or the morning of a dive so I'm not in a rush and I don't forget things. It's just one less thing to worry about. Now that that's all safely put away, the next step is to check the air percentage I have on my dive computer. As you can see, it's been exactly 90 days since our last dive, and I don't really remember if we used air and nitrox. It never hurts to check, so don't be lazy and check it. I also want to make sure my air transmitter works. Again, I know it's most likely going to work, but it doesn't hurt to check. I then compare this against my SPG as another safety precaution and to continually remind myself how much cooler it is to dive with an air transmitter. We didn't really see much on the first dive, but I spotted a big giant pacific octopus. This octopus was a little weird to be honest. I didn't really notice it moving or breathing. The other ones we've seen have some movement, but this didn't really do anything. Not really sure why, maybe it was just super chill, we don't really know. After the dive, we had a nice hour surface interval. The hot soup is definitely one of my favorite things about diving with Sea Dragon Charters. After getting our tanks filled during the interval, we're back down for the second dive. Literally within 5 minutes of the dive, another diver signaled us as he spotted a smaller octopus right on the wall. This octopus was a little bit more animated, and he even tried to reach out to the other diver. I got jealous and tried to see if it would do the same to me, but it kinda just ignored me. Kevin got a closer shot and it was just so cool to see. No matter how many octopuses we've seen, it's always exciting to see one. I can't believe it's been 90 days since our last dive. We really missed it and had such a blast down there. There's really nothing like scuba diving and we are very grateful to be able to explore the underwater world. We saw a wall of beautiful plume and enemies and there was even a little drift towards the end. What a chill dive. 